Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm finally proud to pronounce that we are going to be starting the 100% walkthrough of the DLC for Bloodborne, uh, The Old Hunters. So for those who don't really um, know what we're doing and are kind of new to the channel, uh, we are going to be getting every single item in the game, uh, common, rare, everything to the weapons, do all the blood vials that are scattered around the DLC. Uh, in this first episode we are going from the start to where we defeat Ludwig. So prepare yourself, there's kind of a long run. Um, well, it don't maybe not seem that long in the video, but uh, when we was exploring it, it did actually seem pretty, pretty long. Uh, but anyway, uh, no important items at the moment. As you can see, we picked up one to the left of the entrance door and one up the up the center stairs. We're gonna get, I believe, um, some shards just there heading up this hill. So before heading straight on here, we are going to um, drop down to the left and we are going to get this glove, I believe it was. Uh, some of the items I, I don't remember, I'll definitely remember some of the important ones. Uh, obviously the level's been cleared of enemies, uh, just to make it a lot simpler and clearer where all the items are. There's some blood vials there in clean sight. Uh, before heading up or down, we are going to come over here to this little uh, entrance to the right. Uh, before heading down the main path or up to the right, we are going to drop onto this little pa um, this little ledge here to get some twin shards. Uh, here there's going to be Madman's Knowledge, just like in the good old days in the plaza. Uh, another one over there, uh, all the way to the end over here, st uh, sticking to the right, uh, there's going to be some more blood vials, I believe six of them. Uh, anyway, there's two ways we can go from here, uh, but we are going to head up the hill just here uh, to where we was five seconds ago. Uh, now we are going to head continue uh, straight ahead and now uh, turn back on ourselves up here, this one's in plain sight too, I believe it's some twin shards too. Uh, before heading up the hill, we are going to head to our right here. Be careful of the hunter with the scythe just here. It's going to be an item on here. I believe it's some boots. Uh, here we can open the shortcut, uh, just like in the normal timeline, um, to head up the main stairs from the first lamp, and we'll end up here really quickly. Right, so before continuing up the main stairs, we're going to cross over to the other side and pick this item up, which is also in plain sight. Uh, we're nearly done here, guys, but uh, for now, we're going to hop down here. Uh, this item over here is going to be the Zabimaru, as I like to call it out of Bleach. It is that um, pretty cool looking um, sword that will scatter into pieces like a whip. Uh, but anyway, now we're back at the plaza. Uh, behind the stairs here, there's going to be some Quicksilver bullets. Watch out for the um, little pad on the ground that will activate the Gatling gun. And it will shred you to bits if you're at low health. Uh, halfway up the stairs, there's going to be this little um, turn off to the right. We'll make sure you go and pick those Molotovs up, I believe they was. Right, so now we're just going to head um, up to these stairs until we come to these this platform where the um, trap boulder guy thingy, whatever it is, <laughs> it is uh, turn back on yourselves onto that little platform where it's some grassy um, land over there and pick that item up. Right, so before heading up the final load of stairs, we are going to come to the left. There's going to be some molotovs there. And also to the right, there's going to be another item over here. Uh, there's a cave over here to our right. Um, we're going to ignore that at the moment because that is the way to advance through the level. Um, so I'm just getting my breath back here, guys. Right, so um, after defeating the giant guy that is um, in front of the cathedral, we're going to come all the way to the end and get the eye pendant off of this. I believe it's a dead cleric beast, or at least it is at the moment. So, yeah, so we'll pick that up. Uh, head all the way back down the stairs to where the cave we mentioned before was. So anyway, uh, coming out the other side of the cave, we're going to come to this uh, area that's kind of a lot more open than the last one. And you can get this epic view, I really love this view. But anyway, uh, there's not really going to be any items at the moment, especially on this straight. There's just going to be a few Gatling guns and two little hunters there. And nothing to worry about, to be honest. Uh, this first item in this area was just going to be one or two um, twin shards. Uh, just watch out for the hunter in that area that's got the boom hammer. He can really hit quite hard sometimes. Uh, but anyway, once we're in the house, there's going to be um, some delayed Molotovs, which is a new DLC item, which is pretty much Molotovs. Um, that explode after a while. You should have seen them by the hunters, but anyway. Uh, on the bottom floor, uh, we are going to get to this item, which is going to be our own boom hammer, but you better get out of the way because that's not the only thing that's going to go boom. That wheelchair guy, though. It doesn't matter what timeline it's in, he's going to try and fuck you up. Uh, anyway, coming out here, uh, we are going to get this item to the right of these stairs, um, which is going to be some beast pellets. Uh, also, in this area, we can um, fight this NPC, which got the beast claws, and he also gets this new, um, the new jump attack, which could be really dangerous. This guy's actually got an extreme amount of health. Uh, but anyway, once we kill him, we are going to get the um, firing hammer um, badge, which will allow us to buy a few weapons, including the boom hammer. Uh, the other items, obviously, just because I'm in the vile bloods. 
Uh, anyway, but once we've done that, we're going to head back up the stairs and we're going to hop out of this door, I think, window. I think it's a door. <laughs> and get this um, top hat. I think it's the old Hunter's top hat. Uh, once we're in the river, we can go up here to the left, but the only thing that it's going to do is get us back into the building, so we haven't really missed anything at the moment. Uh, straight in front of the door, there's going to be another item, which is some cold blood. Uh, for now, we're going to head all the way over here to the right, uh, past this carriage, which is going to be a cave at the end. It's totally secondary, but there is two extremely cool weapons in here, so we we better not miss this out. So the first NPC has got this Gatling gun. Be very careful, this guy can be very dangerous. Uh, but once we kill him, obviously, we are going to be able to pick up his Gatling gun. So make sure you don't miss this area, guys. We are also going to be getting another pretty cool, unique weapon uh, down here. So uh, once we've killed the NPC and cleared this area out, uh, there's going to be an item over here, obviously, in plain sight. We can't really miss this. Uh, don't drop down quite yet. Uh, we're gonna get. I think that was a blood chunk, I believe. There's going to be some twin, um, twin shards over here. There's quite a lot of shards and chunks in this area, so make sure you don't miss that. There's another chunk or two. I'm not sure if it's one or two. Can't really see the preview that well, guys. Um, another two twin shards there. Another two twin shards there, and we are going to get Amygdala's arm. Now, I, I, I picked this up in the blind playthrough, I didn't really even look at it, and I thought it's going to be a magic or, or a spell or something. But it's actually a pretty cool, unique looking scythe. With some pretty unique movesets too, you really ought to check that out. I think it scales by strength as well. Uh, anyway, back outside the cave, we're going to head, um, just continue through the river of blood until we get to this bridge. Pick up the blood vials before heading up the stairs to the left, get some quicksilver bullets. Uh, now we're going to head across this bridge all the way to the end, continue forwards in this passageway past the NPC, and we're going to open this door, which is going to take us all the way back to the first lamp of the DLC. So it's a pretty big shortcut. This is going to be the first shortcut we've opened. So it's pretty dangerous as if you die. If it's like your first time playing and you die near the river or whatever against the spiders, it can be pretty dangerous. Uh, anyway, before heading back down to the river, we're going to head over here to the right up the hill, and there's going to be some gloves just here. Uh, now we're just already going to head all the way back down, um, back down the stairs to the other side of the bridge, don't worry, there's nothing under the bridge or anything like that. Uh, before heading into the cave to the left, we're going to pick up um, the trousers over here. Uh, that's that's guarded by four spiders all put together, so that could be pretty dangerous if you're... So at least now you know what it is before sacrificing your life a few times against the spiders, see if it's worth it or not. Uh, anyway guys, uh, we're going to stick to the left here as much as we can, we're going to come to a dead end, but there's going to be... Um, some frenzied cold blood here. Uh, here we can go to the right or to the left. Um, the left, the, there is a dead end over here, but there's not going to be any items. There's just going to be a guy here with a dog. Uh, this has got its some um, reasons to be here, though. It's just a jump down in a later later location that we're going to be getting to in a minute. But anyway, uh, at the moment, there's only one thing we can really do is come to this sewer type like place. It looks really similar to the sewers. Um, watch out for the Sabimaru Hunter and head up the the hand ladder here. So once we're at the top of this hand ladder, there's three different ways you can go. The obvious way, which is uh, straight ahead, which is to continue, we can go straight ahead over there to the left and jump down. Or we can um, go over here, jump down to this um, little wooden beam, uh, go across to the bridge and get the, get the rest of the outfit we've just been collecting. So I think, I believe now we've got all the outfit. Uh, now we're going to head up the ladder for a second time, um, instead, before going straight ahead and continue through the level there's still one more thing we can do here which is go to the left and jump down. Just watch out for the um, scythe hunter here, uh, that item we just picked up there was from the NPC, I forgot to pick that up. Uh, but anyway, before hopping off we can get the scythe we've been talking about, it's like a really little stumpy kind of scythe, I haven't really tried it that much but if, it's any, if it does just as half as much as the damage the NPC does with it, it's fucking amazing. Uh, anyway, now heading straight ahead for the um, the main path, we get to this other kind of lake, river of blood. Uh, there's going to be two items around here, one to the left over here, which is going to be a completely new outfit, and we're going to get all of it just there. And there's going to be another one to the right behind this statue, tomb, I think it's a statue, whatever, which is going to be some madman's knowledge. Uh, before heading to that item over there, to the little hill to the left, we're going to come up this hill to the right and head straight into this pretty big building here. Uh, in here there's going to be the tomb. I'm not sure if it's the same tomb as the one that heads down to Old Yarnum or not. It seems like it. There's going to be a lamp there. I totally missed that lamp on the blind playthrough as you probably already know. Uh, anyway, there's going to be a an NPC we can summon there if you're having, having a bit of trouble with Bloodwig or just the, the stage in general. Uh, there's going to be an item over here. I think it's some more twin shards. 
Uh, this item over here is just from a hunter, don't worry about that. Uh, it's nothing important. Uh, over here, um, behind all these birds, there's going to be a few blood vials. Uh, over here, to the right, uh, in between the, this grass, there's going to be some urns. And um, over here, there is going to be the pizza cutter weapon. Oh yeah, this guy, the guy down there, the snail guy, I think that's just a trap to make him fall on top of you and maybe insta-kill you. I'm not sure, he's never really hit me. I'm not sure if there's anything secret about that guy, but he seems really weird. But anyway... Uh, once we've got the pizza cut, uh, we're going to head all the way back to the the area before heading to the tomb. This time we're going to go up the hill to the left, pick up the six blood vials there. Uh, head into this cave and pick up these pebbles. Uh, through the main door, we are going to get to the first boss of the DLC, which is going to be Ludwig itself. So anyway, well, once we've killed him, um, there's only really one thing we can do before continuing. We just come over here and finish the poor bugger off and get the Sacred Moonlight Sword. I'm so pleased we can get this stuff. Uh, anyway, there's a few blood vials over there up above the stairs. And that's it, guys. This is the first episode of the 100% walkthrough of the old Hunters DLC for Bloodborne. We should have picked everything up. If I did happen to miss something accidentally, please let me know in the comments. Um, stand by for next episode. should be up tomorrow, I guess. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please give a like and subscribe. And we will see you next time, guys. When you're alone and feeling down And you're ten feet underground When you're so deep you're about to drown When you're in the lost and found Cause heartaches only last a day Ooh, But your 